are in Bosnians, 80 kilometers north of Mitole, which is the main battlefront in the Odessa region. This is a city that is both preparing for a Russian attack and has already experienced it. As you can see behind me, this uh, Russian uh, armored vehicle completely destroyed. The Russians entered the city the first day of March and they remained uh, here during three days before withdrawing. We talk with the inhabitants of uh, this area and they, they told us how uh, Russian soldiers uh, settled uh, in houses and they start to store uh, food, um, tools, clothes and then uh, the fight uh, here lasted three days uh, before the Russian troops uh, uh, has to, to, to withdraw. Uh, we talk with uh, 80 years old man and he told us that he didn't uh, want to speak with the Russian soldiers because uh, I have nothing to say to the occupier, that's uh, what he told us. Uh, the inhabitants here knows that there is a chance that uh, Russian soldiers uh, will come back uh, in the city. Some groups of Russian soldiers uh, are still hidden in the nearby forest. They know that they will uh, probably come back because their city is located uh, uh, on the axis between Mykolaiv and Kyiv. So if the Russian troops want to bypass Mykolaiv to cut uh, the big city of Odessa from Kyiv, they have to come back here uh, in Vosnysiansk. The uh, Ukrainian army blew up to bridges uh, in the city to protect the city center. Uh, but they know the fight will happen again for another reason, uh, because uh, just nearby the city there is a nuclear power plant, uh, which is a big strategic target uh, for, for, for the Russian troops. Gwendolyn de Bono reporting.